everybody, David here for the second time tonight with another contest entry video. This time is for our boy Jeff Kempen. He just shot his 70th spin zone video and he also hit 700 subscribers. So he's hosting a contest. He wants us to answer three questions and you have until February 29th to get your videos submitted. And he will host a drawing on March 1st but three questions he's asked of us. Um, question one is to share an album that you were really looking forward to, but were disappointed after listening to it. For me, I'm going to go with the 2017 album from Queens of the Stone Age, and this is Villains. Um, when I first heard the single the way he used to do i was super excited about getting this album i even went on amazon and ordered the special edition which is this green cover and uh got it the day it came out in the mail listened to it really enjoyed tracks one through three and then i just felt like the rest of the album, aside from the last track, just kind of left me wanting more. Um, I really enjoyed the album that came out before this, uh, Like Clockwork. It's one of my favorite albums from Queens of the Stone Age, so I was really looking forward to hearing uh, some new material and was hoping that it would be kind of in the same vein as Like Clockwork. But uh, this album just failed to deliver for me. Um, I, I don't know, know what it is. I, 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 those tracks in the middle of the album just, I don't know, they, they just feel kind of phoned in to me. Um, I know um, Brad at H2 Vinyl is a big Queens of Stone Age fan and um, I'm pretty sure I, I've seen videos where he says he's enjoyed this album but it just didn't do um, as much for me as some of the previous albums. I mean, I still listen to it. It's it's not terrible, but it's just it's just not what I hoped it would be, and it doesn't. It pales in comparison to the other ones, in my opinion. So, the album that disappointed villains. Uh, the second question was to share something with everybody that you haven't talked about before um, in the VC. This may be something that gets my uh, vinyl community membership revoked. <laughs> and I'm almost embarrassed to share this. Um, I've never cleaned an album. stone me <laughs> um, most of the albums that I, I have are ones that I bought new so I, I don't really see a need to have to do a proper cleaning on them um, I do have albums that I've purchased that were used and, and, and you can hear the crackles and pops and stuff and for those I do have a, a mixture of distilled water and, and rubbing alcohol and then I do clean those, but um, I got a spin clean for my birthday one year from my uh, good friend in, in uh, Georgia, and uh, it's still in the box. I've never taken the time to open the box and get the spin cleaner out and do a proper cleaning of my albums. I don't know. Um, it is what it is. Uh, please don't hate me for that. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, some other things about me that I've never shared. Um, I work for a printer company um, in Lexington called Lexmark. Um, I've been with the company for more than 20 years. Uh, I work in IT and my job role is a quality assurance test lead. Uh, so essentially I'm responsible for making sure that as we develop new softwares uh, within the company, it gets tested thoroughly and uh, test results are documented and, and we have traceability and that kind of thing. So that's, that's what I do at Lexmark. Um, it's afforded me the opportunity to travel the world. Um, I've been to Canada, I've been to um, Budapest, England, France multiple times, Australia, uh, China, Singapore, Japan. So it's I've been very fortunate with my job to be able to travel. Um, unfortunately, uh, when I was traveling with the company, I hadn't started collect collecting vinyl. So it would have been cool to visit some of the uh, vinyl stores and shops in these other countries, but I didn't start collecting vinyl. Uh, until 2015 and uh, I haven't really had the opportunity to travel since then so again it would have been nice to especially when I was in England London to visit some records uh, records uh, shops uh, third question that Jeff wants us to answer is where do we see our vinyl collection going in 2020 um, I have 900 plus albums now. Um, I'm running out of space and storage, and so I plan on doing uh, some purging this year. Uh, kind of like what Jeff mentioned in his contest announcement video, I plan to just go through my collection and decide what have I listened to um, the most and what haven't I listened to, and what's just collecting dust on my um, shelves. And what do I see myself l listening to um, in the next one to two, three, four, five years? And, and if I don't see myself listening to it, then uh, chances are I will either try to sell it to get money for new albums, or I can send some stuff out as VCLT. Um, I guess another thing that I should probably try to do in 2020 is start cleaning some albums. <laughs> Jeff, congratulations to you on your 700 subscribers and on your 70th uh, Spin Zone video. Um, I really enjoy your channel. You were one of the first channels that I uh, subscribed to uh, upon joining the vinyl community. Um, I really respect you as a VC member. Um, I, you send out lots of VCLT to people, which is uh, good on you, man. Um, so yeah, um, if you're not familiar with Jeff, and if you're a member of the VC and you're not familiar with Jeff, I don't know how that's possible, but I'll post a link down below in, in the description. Go check him out. Um, he's got a wide variety of, of things that he listens to. Um, He's a Stephen King fan. Uh, he's an avid comic book collector. I think he said in his contest announcement video that he has well over 7,000 comics. But um, go check him out. He's a great guy. Uh, he lives in the Chicago area. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. Jeff, again, congratulations on your subs. And uh, until next time, take care. Thanks.